Hi, have a nice day, my dear students. I am presenting to you our lesson for today, which is preparing and producing bakery products. And uh, at the end of this lesson, we are expected to <clears throat> learn or develop some of the of the learning competences under this lesson preparing and producing bakery products so for the learning outcome for learning outcome number one we are expected to prepare bakery products for learning outcome number two to decorate and present bakery products and for learning outcome number three is to store bakery products to be able to develop these learning competences let us discuss this first one at a time so for learning outcome number one preparing bakery products we have a lot of activities to to perform in this lesson preparing bakery products in this lesson you are able you should be able to select measure and weigh required ingredients according to recipe or production requirements of course it is necessary to provide the necessary ingredients we need in order to perform the activity for in preparation of bakery products give examples of bakery products for example the most common one bakery product is pandesal pandesal is one of the staple food of filipino people then it's not only that you have to learn the different uh, ingredients but you have also to develop the skills on the proper way of measuring and weighing uh, basic or important ingredients for your bakery production. Then you're expected to prepare a variety of bakery products according to standard. So when we say standard, those are the products that you ought to produce and pre or prepare and produce which can be sold to consumers you have to develop the skills of um, mixing there are different kinds of mixing procedures formulation of recipes and desired product characteristics you should know the the desired product characteristics in order to produce a standard quality of bakery products then of course Another thing that is necessary for you to develop is on how you will be able to use appropriate equipment according to required bakery products and standard operating procedures. Then, bake bakery products according to techniques and appropriate conditions and select required oven temperature to take these uh, goods in accordance with the desired characteristics, standards, recipe specifications so there are a lot of um, skills for you to develop in preparing bakery products so at the end of this lesson I am expecting that one of you will be able it's not only one of you for each group I will group you into few and for each group you will you will have five or four members so those those things are the activities that you ought to do those are the important tasks that you have to perform while you are preparing bakery product the selection of ingredients you have to identify what are the ingredients necessary for making pandesal you have to measure measure it accurately how will you measure the the flour um, the liquids there are some techniques for you to to be able to develop or to perform then by preparing bakery products of course you have to prepare it in accordance with the standard then you have to prepare identify the different different identify and procure those materials and equipment necessary in preparation for making pandesal so the first one as I told you there are some techniques in measuring and weighing ingredients used in 
baking. Why is it important to make sure this appropriately the following ingre the ingredients for baking? Yes, it is important to make sure the ingredients accurately to get standard products and efficient use of materials. So, you will soon learn to just the correct amount of liquid to add by the consistency of the dough and the way it handles. For example, how do you measure dry and liquid ingredients? For dry ingredients, for example, what are examples of dry ingredients? Flour, sugar, baking powder, soda, and spices. So, there are some techniques for you to, to learn on the proper way of measuring dry ingredients. Um, since I cannot uh, show with you at the same time while I am discussing on how to properly measure dry ingredients, I'd rather advise you to visit YouTube and... Um, and search for the proper way of uh, measuring dry ingredients. There are some lessons they are discussing about, about or demonstrating the proper way of measuring dry ingredients and liquid, liquid ingredients as well. But for our discussion, so I will be giving you some informations on how to measure dry ingre ingredients. For example, flour. In measuring flour, you don't have to measure it at once and put it into a measuring cup. First, you have to save the flour to remove the lumps. Then, after the sifted flour should be spooned lightly into a measuring cup. Ibig sabihin, you cannot um, press the flour, the sifted flour into the cup. Just spoon, just spoon it scoop it lightly into a measuring cup, heaping it well over the top of the cup. Do not shake the cup. Yes, why you do not have to shake, shake the cup? Because masisusu hiya. Then, after pouring or um, scooping the lightly the flour into the cup, measuring cup, you have to level off the cup with a straight edge utensils or spatula. For a fraction of a cup, use the lines indicating one-fourth, one-third, and one-half of the standard measuring cup. But there are some measuring cups na uh, fitted for, for one-fourth cup or mapil. You have to, there are some selections, of course. Then for sugar, white sugar needs sifting only if lumpy. Kung nagbuburubok ulit it asukar, you have to sift it all. But if it, it's not lumpy, you can proceed as in the measuring of flour. Brown sugar, if lumpy, press through a coarse sheep to crush the lumps. Kung may nagbuburubok ul, imulaan na hiya ipapowderize. Or you have to crush the lumps. Pack into measuring cup just enough to hold each sheep level off. Then, sift confectioner sugar through a sheep to remove lumps. Spoon lightly into measuring cup. Level off with a spatula or any street edge utensil. And do not shake the cup. For baking powder, what measuring in, uh, measuring tool will you use? Of course, the measuring spoons. So you have to fill measuring spoon with the desired, desired ingredients. For example, baking powder. Use the measuring spoon. Then level off with a spatula or any street edge utensils. If baking powder has cakes, stir lightly before measuring. Now, the sticky ingredients such as shortening, paano natin i-measure yan properly? With the use of measuring cup, of course, have shortening at room temperature. Examples of shortening are margarine, yes, then, or lard. You have to pack firmly into the measuring cup taking care not to have air pockets. So, kalangan waray hangin. Kalangan hiya kumpak na isasaladit imo. Cup. Then, level off with a spatula or any straight edge utensils like the edge of a knife. Basta taadang. Use a standard measuring spoon for less than one-fourth cup shortening. 
For water displacement method, fill the cup with cold water up to 1 fourth cup level if 1 half cup of fat is desired and add shortening enough to cause the water to rise up to the 1 cup mark. To measure 1 fourth cup, fill with cold water up to 3 fourth cup level and add shortening enough to raise the water up to the 1 cup mark. Then drain well. For liquid ingredients, samples are water and milk. These are examples of liquid ingredients. A liquid measuring cup is best to use for liquid ingredients because it is clear and see through. So, so mag-iba itong measuring cup for dry ingredients for flour, example, is, is different. For measuring liquid ingredients, this is another measuring cup. Um, measuring cup for liquid ingredients and for dry ing ingredients. I will be introducing you examples of measuring cups for liquid ingredients. So here it is. This one is a, a measuring cup for liquid ingredients so it has its label if you have to measure one cup of milk there is a label there you have to just see the label and then for 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 flour measuring dry ingredients this is examples of measuring cups for dry ingredients Sorry. That's it. Then we can proceed to the next discussion on measuring ingredients. So to get the exact amount, what are the steps for you to follow in measuring liquids? Sit up the liquid measuring cup place the measuring cup on a flat even surface so you have to put it in a surface you have to you do not have to hang it pour the liquid carefully and slowly into the cup stop pouring when the liquid reaches the marker line for the desired amount then check your measurement bend down so that your eyes level with the marker line look at the top of the liquid now if there are there are some ingredients that are not available at home and there are some ingredients that are available substitutions can can be made possible especially for the equivalence for example for one gallon you have for it is equivalent equivalent to four quarts for one quart, it is equivalent to two pence, and one pence is equivalent to two cups. One cup is equivalent to eight ounce, ounces. One half cup is four ounces. One fourth cup is two ounces. One eighth cup is one fluid ounce. ounce. Mm. For one tablespoon, if you don't have tablespoon, this is equivalent to 3 teaspoons. 1 pound is 16 ounces. 2.2 pounds is 35.2 ounces. And 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So those are equivalent weights and measurements. So, for your activity, you have something to do. There, here are the following list of ingredients for brownies. Brownies is a kind of, 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 something like biscuits, like something like a bread. So, assume that you do not have a measuring cup. Give the required measurement for every day, every ingredient that is equivalent to the cup measurement. Give the substitute for every ingredient marked with bullet. So, for example, 2 ounces chocolate melted, what would be the substitute? What is the substitute of 1 third cup butter? What is the substitute for 1 cup cake flour? What is the substitute for 1 fourth teaspoon salt? 
one half teaspoon baking powder, two eggs beaten, one cup butter, one half teaspoon vanilla, and one cup nuts chopped. So you look for ingredients for making brownness and uh, make a video on how you will prepare, on how you measure these ingredients and how you utilize this, your utensils. So that would be your acti activity for this lesson. Thank you and I will be waiting for your performance and we'll be waiting for your videos and pictures. That's all for now.